Hello there everyone and welcome back to DML. So today I'm going to be doing something kind of different and I'm actually pretty excited to go back to trying out our old team for the first time in actually probably a couple of years now. And so we have Nozd here who was one of my old main team members. You know, he was babified and everything. Look at this adorable little, little squishy fish right there. But, you know, it has been so long since I have revisited these guys. We have Noz the Clownfish Dragon, Tear the, uh, the Tiger Dragon, and Flap the Radiant Dragon. You know, <laughs> it has been such a long time since we got to fight with these guys. It has been so long. I've already missed a perfect hit. Right. But, you know, they are a little bit enchanted as well, so they are a little bit stronger now. But I am just... You know, I wanted to try and do a few fights back with the, the good old team, even though, you know, in reality, obviously, this team was not that great. The Radiant Dragon is weak to plan, obviously, which is one of the main reasons why our Radiant Dragon was not very good. But, you know, having Nozd in the first slot, obviously, he has the wind, so he can reduce the guy's damage. We have Tear, who has a lot of base attack. And the Radiant Dragon was just there because I, I guess I wanted to use him for one reason or another, I guess. But... You know, I don't know how many of you have been watching since, you know, way back when. These three are all level 30, and that's the point where I say, you know, you can use whatever dragons you want, really, up until you get up to level 30 on your dragons, and then you have to start replacing with better stuff. You know, like legendaries, divines if you have them, and... You know, this is the reason why. These dragons still did quite a lot back then for, you know, they did what I needed them to do. They could do the dungeon, they could do all the daily blue map fights, and that's all that really mattered at the end of the day. I mean, you can see even against these dragons that are just a higher level than them, they don't struggle. As long as we got Nozd in the first place. Maybe we should do some tougher fights with them. Obviously, we've already got three stars on all these fights, but... You know, we might as well try... And how about we try this fight here? 31, 34, and 31 against another clownfish dragon. Well, how's about that? Um... I still want to put wind on all of these enemy dragons, just to make sure that we don't die, obviously. Even though the Earth would have been super effective there. But, Tear just reduced to wreck stuff. For anyone that remembers him, Tear was super, super good at just wrecking everything. Which is, uh, lovely, lovely. You know, might as well put some stone shield up. Because I, u I used to value having Earth on a team so much. My attitude towards Earth and Wind did change a little bit over time because it used to always be, you know, Wind and Earth on the same team was like a must. This was back when I was a wee lass, new to the land and world of DML. Now you gotta learn somewhere. Uh, we're just wrecking stuff. I think we need some tougher, tougher fights. You know, gotta keep going harder. Harder in the paint. It, it is very nostalgic in its own way, just to see them all together again. And, you know, it's like two years ago. That, that's a long time ago. You know, I'm only 19. That's a, a decent portion of my life, I guess you could say. Two years? That, that feels like a long time to me, in its own way. But we'll see how we do with this fight. You see our Radiant Dragon being weak to plant means that they just got insta-killed. And it is very concerning. Very scary when you basically get insta-killed just because you're weak to one single element. So he's gonna get, die to poison and then... Their damage hasn't been reduced yet. We probably could have done this better in some way, shape, or form. 
He's gonna die to infection next set of turns. Do I want to attack here? I'm gonna say no. Oh, Noz dies from that. I didn't think he was gonna die. You know what? I'm trying that again. Maybe if we prioritize a little bit better, maybe we won't die. So if we weaken the middle guy instead of the top one, maybe this will go a little bit better. Again, I'm, I'm just trying this. I want to try my best to win this little fight here. Oh, and our Radiant Dragon survived. That, that's actually really good for us. So now the Swamp Dragon is going to faint this next coming turn, so we'll pop plan onto the top shard dragon. Nice, nice, nice. And we have burnout on our radiant dragon, which was the main use that I had for him. So he, he just removes all of the shielding and all of the the metal that they've added to themselves. But there we go. See how different a fight can go just by prioritizing a different target. It's a very different world. Requires so much thought when you have three dragons and you don't just one-shot everything. I'm not used to this. Well, I guess I kind of am, you know, with the android account and everything, but... You know, when you have a defensive dragon in front, it becomes... a little bit tougher to win some of the fights here. So, the question is, would we be able to do Korloth? I don't know, this was the old final boss of the game, obviously. So, I guess we'll see. Can we survive a hit? No. We definitely cannot survive a, a hit. Well, that was scary. And look how quick he's flapping his wings. Jesus. A bit fast there, Mr. Phoenix. Alright, so we know that we obviously can't do this unless we get lucky, so... How about if we put Tombstone? Will we survive? I reckon he's still gonna die. Unless you miss. Okay then. An opportunity is opening itself up, I guess. You know, we probably would have done this with Dragon Fury Essence though in all likelihood. <laughs> he just gains all of his health back. Oh, these boss fights were, used to be so scary. You know, we almost built up our Dragon Fury meter. That that says more than an, a lot. Well, I guess we wouldn't have been able to do the call off fight then, which is kind of disappointing. How about the first fight in the shadow? In the shadow realm. Okay, who's the scary character? Definitely the middle guy again, because you know, highest level shadow is terrifying. Especially when Mr. Tiger Dragon is weak to, like, everything in existence. So. We'll pop that on. He's actually going for the Radiant Dragon. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You know, just insta-killing him. Uh, Are we gonna die? Is he gonna die? He is gonna die. Nice. Oh no, I we're losing so much health. And maybe we should have just weakened their attack again there. Oh god. Now which one do we go for? Yeah, we probably go for the guy with the fire and the water, correct? I don't know how you feel about looking through these uh, old team members. I just find it intriguing. Thank you for continuing to miss. I appreciate that. But like, I, I don't do enough fights with other dragons and stuff all that often, so, you know, at least we don't have to just sit here and watch Andy one-shot for another day straight. Oh, here we go. We don't even need Dragon Fury. Get out of here! Get out of here! Psh. Five levels above? Psh. Get over yourself, my friend. Well, we could probably do, like, up to this fight if we got lucky, probably, and maybe Forgotten Wood. So that's still, like, quest 119, roughly, that our old team could take on. So between this one 
And this one, that is basically the point when we switch to our legendary teams. And I don't regret this decision in any way. You know, it, it's just... Sometimes it is hard when you've only got one dragon and you find the battles kind of boring most of the time. Like, I just click the button twice and everything explodes. And it's cool in its own way, but sometimes it does get a little bit boring, a little bit tedious, obviously. But I hope that, <clears throat> you know, for any of you that were here, like, a few years ago, at least you get to experience the old team again as well. Probably the, the last time I'm going to do that for a good while, am I right? You know, whenever we do get Dragons of the Week and stuff like that, I do like to take them out for a little bit of a, like, pre-test fight at least, just to, you know, have a look at them and see how they do. Not because I expect a lot out of them, because, you know, Epics, they're always going to have weaknesses, they're always going to be weaker than Legendaries, but, you know, just to see what they look like, their angry faces mid-fight, it's not bad. I wish there was more of an animation, or like, animation differences between a lot of dragons though. Because like, with the attacks that they do, all the snake body type ones, like, the lantern, they just twirl on the spot. And all of them do like, the exact same thing, pretty much. So I'd, I'd love it if dragons could have their own custom animations, or something like that. It'd make them feel a lot more, you know, personal, or... Something like that. So, no, that's just my thing. I still, I still adore Andy and our Lantern Dragon here. They're still good little chappies, obviously. And how is this fight gonna go? I think it's gonna kill off our Lantern first, isn't it? Oh wow, they actually let us trade that. I'll take it. I'll take it any day. Free chest. Nice! And what do we get? I don't even know what I'm looking for in reality. I think I'm just looking for more... More divine materials, more trinkets, and... You know, more legendary is always useful, so I guess even if I do get given more legendary, it's, it's always going to be used at one point or another. Plus, the more legendary I get, the less I have to upgrade some of the materials that I need for Saini. So, you know, I am still trying to upgrade the Lantern and the Hermes Dragon. They're gonna take forever. And he's all done and dusted, max level. As strong as he'll ever be from this point onwards. And, you know, what other teams did we used to have? I know that I leveled up a Golden Crow Dragon at one point. Obviously, my first ever main... What's it called? My main rare dragon that was on my team was the Prairie Dragon. And he's from way back when. But he was sort of in and out of a couple of teams, I think. But Noz the Clownfish and Tear and our Radiant were like the set team. And we did have a uh, Clay Dragon around for a good while as well, obviously. He doesn't get any love anymore. Feels bad. He really doesn't get any love. I wish I could give him some more, but... No, it is what it is. Yeah, Dragon gets a preemptive attack that drains 40% of the defender's health. Eh, uh, you know what? I, th I think we can do that. Go! Wreck him! Heh <laughs> heh! He actually got slashed up. Get destroyed, enemy lantern. I love being able to take on people like that. We did get some legendary! Wow. Game, you've actually listened. I wasn't even that desperate for it or anything. Thank you. Thank you for the excellent. But, yeah, we need to change up a few more of these, obviously. And by a few more, I mean, like, double what we had already, because we need 32 Extraordinary to upgrade Saini. But I do also want to upgrade Joko. Ugh. <laughs> so many that we're going to have to change. 
So many enchantment fights that we're gonna have to do among everything else. Holy. But. Yep. Yeah, There's a nice little visit to the olden days. Thank you, Nozd. Never gonna sell ya. I'll, I'll always see your, your little cute face and try not to, you know, throw you out into the wild. Although I'm sure he's got a lot better of a chance of defending himself than those, you know, newly hatched dragons that we end up throwing away, essentially. And very quickly, just before I leave, I did want to point out that the Lunar Dragon is available in a bundle. Apparently he costs £58 on average, like normally, which I don't believe, by the way. But, uh... £12.50 p for him, a legendary habitat, and five days worth of VIP. So obviously the, the cost comes into account, you know, the, the cost of the habitat and the VIP ticket. But we already have our own Lunar Dragon, so I won't be buying it, of course. Not that I would have anyway, but... You know, if you do want to take advantage of the deal, make sure you do it sooner rather than later. Otherwise, he's going to vanish. And then you're going to wish that you've done it. Never regret not doing something. You don't want to get to the age of 18 and be like, I should have bought him, I should have bought that, that, um, that dragon bundle. You know? That'd be pretty sad if you were like 80 and that was your only worry. But, you know, anyway, thank you for joining on this mini nostalgia trip. Good luck with all of your breeding, especially for the Archangel and especially for the Meteorite since he's going to be leaving very soon. Our very, very best of luck to you, my friend. But for now, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you then.